From the International Praise and Harmony TV Network, the founder of the singing group a cappella, sending harmony to all the world, your host for this live stream chat today, Keith Lancaster. Hello, hello. How are you doing, folks? It's good to be with you again, and I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. I have uh, some good news to share with you and a message from the Word, um, something that means a lot to me and should mean a lot, I think, to everyone is Galatians 6, verse 2, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. We're commanded to carry each other's burdens, and it just seems like the past few years in our society, it's gone the other direction. There's mistrust, there's uh, hatred and strife, and, uh, and even in the church, there's not the bond, there's not the giving up of yourself, the emptying of yourself for others. And that passage is so relevant. Carry each other's burdens. When someone is, is carrying a burden, it takes part of the burden away when you carry it, when you carry part of the load. Um, as, as some of you know, I love scripture songs, songs that are verbatim scripture. And there's a passage, actually, I combined two for a song with a cappella. Be devoted to one another. Romans 12, 10 and 11. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. And of course, I like the last part. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. But we're commanded to be devoted and to honor one another above ourselves. Uh, I, I believe that fellowship is part of our worship Acts 2.42, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship. They devoted themselves to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. And with the pandemic and the quarantine, it seems like a lot of people got comfortable with just watching the streams of worship services in their pajamas. Um, and that can be encouraging, and that can have a benefit but it's not by any means a replacement for the fellowship God meant for us to be together. It's not a solitaire, solo experience. And so I wanted to share a snippet of the song. Uh, some of you already know this song, Be Devoted to One Another and Brotherly Love. But I started off, that's Romans 12, but I started off with uh, Galatians 6. And then even in the bridge, it, it just alludes to passages of, of the one another passages, encourage one another, pray for one another, build each other up. So uh, here, here it is, uh, be, be devoted. Carry each other's burdens. Carry each other's burdens.
is, there it is spelled out plainly. We need each other. We need to build up each other. We need to encourage. We need to pray for each other. We need to confess our sins to each other. We need to uh, go to each other when we have problems and work them out. Uh, it's it's a, a very one another religion. We're all very different, but God meant for us to be in the family, in the community. And uh, that's, that's uh, why I really think it's important for us to spend time together and, and to make it a point to be with brothers and sisters in Christ. I, I heard from one of the greatest tenors of all time. He sings with acapella. His name's Kevin Schaefer. Heard from him yesterday, and he and his family are in Puerto Rico on vacation. And he he told me one song is just looping over in his mind over and over again. You've had that. Uh, my son calls them earworms, where a song just repeats and repeats. And this is the song that he said was repeating uh, in in his mind. And this here's a snippet of a song that uh, I recorded a long time ago, written by my dear brother, Gary Miller. Everybody needs Jesus. And because he's in Puerto Rico, that's why he, uh, he started thinking about this. Everybody needs Jesus. Everybody in the whole wide world. Everybody needs Jesus. Everybody has a right to know Red China has a right to know They're needing Jesus down in Mexico San Juan, Puerto Rico Zimbabwe and the Ivory Coast Everybody needs Jesus Everybody in the whole wide world Everybody needs Everybody has a right to know. Yes, the world's messed up. And what the world needs now is Jesus. Of course, uh, that song, the old song, What the World Needs Now is Love, but God is love, and Jesus has shown us love, and we can uh, connect that way. But anyway, I just uh, wanted to shout out to uh, Kevin Schaefer and his family in Puerto Rico. Of course, that's the home uh, the original home of Nota, the 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 winners of the Sing Off NBC's acapella contest, and we were so honored and are so honored that they have put together a tribute album for acapella, our songs. They've covered our songs with their unique style, and it is fantabulous. Fantabulous, <laughs> you you've heard that word. Um, I wanted to. Uh, tell you also that we have another date that's just been added. It's going to be West Memphis, Arkansas. West Memphis, our dear friend Mike Seal is there. He preaches for the church there. And we had a conversation and he said, worship should be transformative. Worship is not, again, a spectator activity. It's not something that you just uh, watch a drive-by True worship of being in God's presence is transforming. It changes you. It, it is transformative. And so we are planning on being there. Uh, let's see what the dates. That's in September 11th and 12th. I hope some of you can join us there. But uh, we're, we're going to be focusing on worship and the family and the future and uh, this vibrant congregation. I am... Um, I'm so thankful for our singers who record at home and put these virtual videos together and these virtual albums. I want to show you once again the uh, uh, blooper video. We call it the blooper video. It's so funny. It, it takes a lot of work. Uh, these are average folks all over the country and all over the world, but they put the, uh, a studio together where they can film themselves and hear the other singers. And this is a blooper reel from our latest album, Loving God. A common love for each other, a common gift to the Savior, a common bond holding us to the Lord, a common strength when we're weak. 
take two because the first take I had to stop and break up a duck fight outside my window. But nobody else has that excuse. I feel like I messed up breathing on that one, but. Ah! Oh, we're still recording. I always do that. There's just no air out there. Oh. <laughs> well, it'd help if I would sing. <laughs> Can I just apologize right now? Some of this doesn't sound very good coming out of my face. And now, what is green and has wheels? And the answer is grass. I was just kidding about the wheels. I never stopped it. <laughs> As you can see, it's a challenge to put these together, but our folks, we have the best volunteers in the world and it, it, it produces this beautiful music. I, I have told you on previous streams how much I'm thankful for family events. So many events are just for teenagers or just for retired folks or uh, adults, older adults, or just for singles, or just, but I love events that, that everybody can be a part of, activities that bring everybody together. And of course, we just recently came back from one of those in Red River, New Mexico, and it was just astounding and refreshing. Another one that is coming up, uh, save your uh, uh, pennies for, reserve your cabin today, and that is the Acapella Hawaii Cruise. We call it the Acapella Hawaii Adventure. Aha, aloha. And uh, the last one we did, here's, here's here are testimonies of folks who were on the cruise with Acapella, with Praise and Harmony, with all the activities that were going on. Uh, check this out. We just, we just really, really enjoyed, enjoyed this, this experience. experience. Worship, Worship Sunday was unbelievable. What a great kickoff to the cruise, and the daily activities were just wonderful, being with other Christians and the fellowship. We just really enjoyed our time. Thank you very much. And we'll do this again sometime. We will. Yeah. Hi, good morning. We just finished a big Joy Theater a cappella this morning. I love going to this event because you are with the family of the church and we heard the newest songs and also the hymns and the oldest songs. We just love it because we know we're in the same family. It's the Lord's Church and Kit is just so charismatic. <laughs> I, we love him so much and we're going to do it again. I recommend guys that if you go to a cruise, you go to the God's Church because Everybody is so accommodating, very nice, very kind. And I have, we brought all our family here, my aunt. Here comes my, uh, my Phoebe, my husband, and my aunt and uncle, and my cousins, Brandon, Kenneth, Eileen, and Maddie. So we're all having fun. Hey, we have just had the greatest time. This is our very first acapella cruise, and it's amazing how much we've made family with people we've never met before. I've it, done more hugging on this cruise than I can even imagine. It's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, for my wife and I, this is our very first cruise, and I think we will come back only if acapella is a part of it. We have absolutely loved it. It's been amazing. The fellowship, I have been moved. I've sang all these songs before, but I have never been moved like I was during this cruise. This is only my second cruise, but I'm really looking forward to many, many more because I'm having so much fun. And there really is nothing better than just to uh, uh, vacation with the family of God and to, and to sing a cappella. Okay, if you guys have not been on a cruise, number one, you have to go. But what makes this so special is being able to be with friends that are going to be family. And you guys have so much fun just worshiping with one another. I mean, there's just nothing like it. Um, it rejuvenates you. I grew up in the church, so I don't take it for granted one bit. But being able just to connect with one another, share bread, <laughs> lots of bread with one another, and so much singing. And hearing a cappella live again is wonderful. So the best of all worlds. I have really enjoyed the cruise, enjoyed meeting Keith Lancaster and his family, and also getting to mingle with 
the group a cappella. I've listened to them for over 20 years and I've really enjoyed listening to the music and singing with it. It's been a great experience this trip. The singing yes. was fantastic. This is where I get my fix. Uh, I've been following Keith Lancaster since way back and I uh, love all the work that he has done with, with the congregational singing and all the singing for the, for the church. Love his whole family. On this cruise I really enjoyed the fellowship and the singing and the, not only of the group a cappella, which has been awesome, but the singing together and, and learning the different notes for the different songs. My tenor has improved, I think, because of this tour. We really encourage anybody else to come. We, this is our second cruise with a cappella, and we'd like to come again. We went on the last a cappella cruise, and my husband's a singer, so I love it. But this was on my bucket list, and I would recommend this to anybody. I told one person, they showed up, they brought somebody else, and then they brought somebody else. So I think I've been advertising pretty well. Go a cappella. Uh, we've enjoyed the church service on Sunday and mm -hmm. all the singing and, yeah. and meeting new uh, brothers and sisters in, in Christ. So, And making lifelong friends. friends. <laughs> and the tears you see in my eyes are because of all the emotional moments I've had and especially when we sing the song In Need. We all are in need and this has been a blessing. Thank you for all the work. This is the second cruise we've been on with a cappella. We've enjoyed it very much, my husband and myself. This is my second a cappella singing vacations cruise. And I love being able to spend time on the cruise with other Christians that I haven't met before. I've, I've met and had just wonderful con uh, conversations with uh, many other Christians and I highly recommend uh, if, you, if you've ever dreamt about taking a cruise, um, look into the a cappella singing vacations cruises. This is just a fantastic way to spend your vacation time with other Christians who have a similar interest that you do. This is my first a cappella cruise and I thoroughly enjoyed it. My most memorable moment was when we did the, when we did the flash mob, thank you, uh, which is so cool that we did that and people that were all around us that weren't a part of the group just thought it was so cool. I thought it was really great on Sunday when we had our worship service and we could see people upstairs just observing us and everybody just thought it was great. And I really had a great time. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. It's been great getting to meet everybody, conversations, and just, it's been awesome. <laughs> it has been awesome. I tell you, we, uh, we came into this not really knowing what to expect. It's our first a cappella cruise of all things, would you believe it? <laughs> and we get to do it with about 350 new friends and brothers and sisters in Christ. So what a great experience. Uh, been over the top and, uh, you know, just an experience that um, we hope that you can experience as well. See you next time. Yes. The best cruise ever. Uh, the only my second one, but it's 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 it was great. Loved it. Can't wait till the next cruise, next time. This cruise was amazing. It's the only kind of cruise I ever want to go on again, one with acapella. I encourage everybody that could ever possibly go on an acapella cruise, to please go on an acapella cruise. You'll love it. And we first cruised with acapella 25 years ago. And since then, um, we've done, this will be our sixth cruise all together with acapella and there's no better way to cruise. <laughs> wonderful time, wonderful people, wonderful fellowship. And we've really enjoyed this cruise. 
and, and it's been very uplifting and the songs encouraging. And, and encouraging it's just a, a great time and uh, would recommend it to anybody it's just been so great thank you this was my first cruise this is my first cruise with acapella oh my goodness um it just recharged me for such a long time and i cannot imagine going with anybody else anywhere else i will try my best to come again and again and again i loved it amazing amazing trip that's all i can say come sing and praise the lord and have a good time acapella cruise you've got to go on one don't even think about it don't hesitate just go Did you see Bert and Diane Anderson from North Dakota? They said, uh, I guess that would be now 27 years ago, they went on their first acapella cruise and they're still traveling with us. Bert, he, he was the mayor of the city. Now he's in the legislature, uh, the state legislature. Anyway, there's so many uh, fascinating people, brothers and sisters you'll get to meet. And I'm so thankful for those testimonies. Uh, next year is going to be so busy. It's hard to talk about uh, and cover everything that I'd love, love to cover. One more thing that I wanted to, to mention, and that is the Worship Leader Institute. It is happening uh, in June of 2022. It's going to be at the MacArthur Park Church in San Antonio, and we really highly encourage you to uh, invite your song leaders, especially if you're interested in a cappella singing. If you want to, to have the greatest a cappella singing, then uh, really consider sending, sponsoring your, your song leader, your worship leader to come and be be a part of this. It's uh, it's there's just no substitute for hands on learning, and uh, it, it's we we get the best instructors possible, and just wa I wanted you to know about this because it's it's it can really uh, revolutionize your your singing. Um, I want to leave you with a, a positive song. The Bible says, "Is anyone happy? Let him sing." So listen to this very happy song that was recorded by the Praise and Harmony Singers. Sunday morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me, joy is ours to share What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise Headed for that jubilee yonder in the skies What a day of singing Oh, a day of shouting, shouting on that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. For a day of glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, when we meet our blessed Savior in the wonders of the skies. Seems that now I almost see all the saints and dead, rising for the jubilee that is just ahead. In the twinkling of an eye, change with them to be All the living saints to fly to the jubilee What a day of singing, singing What a day of shouting, shouting On that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise What a day of glory, 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 hallelujah, glory When we meet our blessed Savior in Singing in the Holy Ghost, how the hands will ring. Millions there will join the song, with them we shall be. Praising Christ their ages long, heaven's jubilee. What a day of singing, singing. what a day of shouting, shouting on that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. What a day of glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, when we meet. Glory, 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 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That song has to put a smile on your face. It's still not too late to record with us in Abilene, Texas. Go to acapella.org and find out more how you can audition to be a part of the next recording with the Praise and Harmony singers. And it just seems like every time we record, we'll spend three days recording. It's hard work. But the favorite experience of everybody who comes is the worship that we have. After, after all the work has been done and they can let their hair down, so to speak, we just let go and sing and worship. And they say that's worth the trip. Speaking of next year in 2022, we're we're getting a lot closer to announcing a reunion concert for the 40th anniversary of acapella. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for being a part of this live stream with uh, this musicianary. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Y'all take care now.